we're vinyl wrapping the trunk today, hopefully. Hopefully. If debadging goes well and prepping goes well, um, my goal is to actually get to wrapping the trunk and finishing tonight. So it's still early, so I need to get started. So here's a couple items I will be using for this debadging process. I got my good old heat gun, some goo gone, and some dental floss. Let's see if this works. I've never debadged anything before, but I have seen a couple videos, and it's gotta come off. I mean, come on. The worst part is the adhesive at the end, but I mean, we could do this, we could do this. I'm gonna check it out, my S is already wanting to come off, so that one's just a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer, let's see. No-brainer. Well, the S is off, and all we have left is adhesive. That's gonna be the nightmare, I just know it. I just know it, it always is. It's always the problem factor here. But we're gonna go through it together, so let's do this. Got an extra squeegee, I'm just kinda working it off. Haven't used any goo gone. We're just going with pure heat right now. That kinda just crumbled right off, that was surprising. So that's good, that's good news, definitely good news. So let's go on ahead, keep on heating it, see what comes off. I mean, I'm not even using the dental floss yet. So far this little squeegee trick is, look at that, just coming right off. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful, look at that. I'm gonna put that on my wall, beautiful, it's beautiful. Sorry to say that the time lapse uh, failed me, and uh, yeah, didn't record, but as you can see, I'm getting most of it off, but I'm just realizing that I actually maybe took a chunk of my paint out when I ripped off that badge. Part of the A right there. Baru. Oh, part of the B. Part of the B. Uh, anyways, yeah, we got the ghosted Subaru badge now. So let's go on ahead, tackle the WRX Impreza, and maybe this big bad boy here. Hey guys, I see you. Okay, bye. Dang it, say it isn't so. I just ran out of floss. I would be way better off with some fishing line. I mean, this floss is just too weak. It's too weak to get it done, man. So just quit messing around and just get yourself some nice, like, eight pound test fishing string or something, maybe six, maybe four. Just, just don't screw around with the dental floss. Unless you got some heavy duty dental floss, it's just not worth it. So yeah, we got the W and no more R and no more X. So we're just a W Impreza. Hi. Looking in my garage, I see quite a bit of fishing poles here. I'll be damned. There's some string just hanging down right there for me. I'm gonna get that cut. Maybe I can use it. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure this is a fly fishing string. And uh, yeah, not sure if it's gonna work. We'll give it a shot. Turns out, fly fishing string works like a charm. Let's get rid of this thing. This is pretty damn disgusting, isn't it? Look at all this dirt. Look at all that dirt, man. I am gonna try to keep this badge in mint condition because I want to reuse it. It's awesome. My cool little vinyl overlay here. This is like one of the first couple mods that I did to this car, man. Got that vinyl mod. But it's kind of nice. You don't have to really line it up when you're sticking this back on because it just lines up with the holes. And boom, no guessing if you're in the center or if it's perfect or not because I already know it's perfect. You definitely have a lot of work left here, and uh, I'm tired, I'm getting tired. It's kind of like a little, the guy's eyeballs and a little happy face there, cute.
just like that, through the YouTube magic, we have our trunk debadged and ready to go. Just a quick overview here. All of the adhesive is off. I just went over with light sandpaper just to kind of get the rest of it off. Um, there is some damage right down here. Um, when I pulled off some of the adhesive, uh, some of my paint came off as well, but we're just gonna live with that. I mean, I already know my car is not gonna be perfect because of my a good old quarter panel over here. That's gonna look pretty tasty when it's wrapped, but uh, yeah, can't be too picky knowing uh, I do have imperfections on the car. So we're just gonna move on and move forward. So let's go on ahead and uh, prep the surface one more time. I did already clay bar it, but we're just gonna run over it with uh, you know the drill, some isopropyl alcohol. Get the surface cleaned again, and uh, we're gonna start wrapping. We gotta give ourselves a good measurement here, just to make sure we're cutting the vinyl at the right length. So with no slack at all, it's about 52 inches. Go ahead and move that, give ourselves a couple inches of room. Five foot wide will give me some excess. Let's say five feet by, this is my unofficial measurement, 40. Oh, that's way too much, but 40. So 40 long. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. All right, let's assume the position. Schnitty, schnitty, shokopo, schnitty, stubbina. Oh, looks like one side's turning. You know what, that works for me. Try not to crease it. Measuring device. Plenty boy. About one, two, three Avery Denison's up. Boom, right there. So let's start it right about champ. Now, can I do a straight cut is the question. Alright, YOLO. <laughs> Alright, see how that works. Okay. Now the real work begins. Again, before I actually unpeel the backing paper, we're going to go on ahead and give it a good tack clothing here. Underneath is where it matters here. There's a lot of static under this uh, backing paper. And I uh, just want to make sure everything's good to go. Last minute tacky tacky. Okay, plenty of slack below again. Okay, we're looking good. Alright, here comes the fun part. Let's do this. I'm having some difficulty with this trunk right now or should I say I was having some difficulty with the trunk um, I pretty much laid the glass it took me quite a bit of tries to get it right um, I just had issues heating up this part here and giving it a nice even pull pretty much a nice even stretch around this bend here but I did end up getting it right so yeah in the time lapse you'll see me pretty much struggle I was struggling that's for damn sure Anything with any like curve like this is just makes the whole rap game like 20 times harder. But I'm pretty proud of myself so far. I'm in the process of just kind of slowly, you know, squeegeeing and using my hand to get all the bubbles out slowly, slowly, slowly. And then I'm gonna worry about all this down here. Hopefully I can use heat to uh, kind of, you know, get past this area. So this is a big nightmare down here, but I'm not worrying about that quite yet because I think I can save it with some heat and a little bit of finger reading and uh, triangle techniques. So hopefully it all works out. Uh, anyways, yeah, back to the time lapse.
Well, as you guys saw, I was just rubbing out all of the free air with my good old glove. I was a little skeptical about using the squeegee right off the bat just because I created a finger around this area. I created a finger early on and I was like, oh crap, and then I had to redo it. You'll probably see it in the time lapse. So now I'm going to kind of relieve the tension on this because it's kind of stuck to the window. And then we'll be working on this area here. Hopefully I can save it. I'm just going to kind of float my blade along. Cutting in thin air here. I'm not going to cut it too short. Just to cut a bit off there. Find a dancer. Find a highway. This should be pretty easy to cut here. The back side of my blade. Uh, no way is up, Jake. Just want to get careless is when I start making mistakes. Okay, let's see what we got. Keep it coming. Just a little bit. Okay, that's where I stopped. Okay, got plenty to tuck around the corner. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Wow. 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 Keep on going. Slowly but surely, mate. I yell to the cab, your home, smell you later. I am making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight my mom got scared to say I'm moving. Come on, yeah, I'm not gonna let my lair. Okay, slowly but surely. Okay, GoPro head here. So here we go. So we're just gonna start. We're just gonna start squeegeeing. All we do is like, I heat up a little area, and then slowly just squeegee out the wrinkles. Heat up a little area, squeegee out the wrinkles, so on and so forth. So let's see how this goes here. Again, a, a skilled professional probably doesn't use any heat for this because it's not really a crazy curve. It's just more like a flat surface. But there is some curve to it, so it does tend to finger a little easy for a beginner like me. But I just kind of work it down. Work it down and hopefully you don't screw it up. Hopefully you don't screw it up. Hopefully you don't screw it up. You don't screw it up. You don't screw it up. Screw it up. Screw it up. Whoa, bro, what is all that, bro? Uh-uh, boy. Well, I think I'm... Uh, <laughs> Something happened. Something happened, and I know it was my mistake. I believe I reheated the vinyl too many times, and after so many times, the wrinkles don't really go away. Like little specks now on there. I mean, look at all this. Like, this is just a nightmare. Look at this. What, is, what did I do wrong, man? I just can't get these fingers out. Even when I heat them, they won't come out. Masterpiece is crumbling. For the most part, it came out pretty good here, but damn it. This is a very big disaster and a failure, so I'm sure there'll be a couple more of those along this journey. Can't believe it, it looks so good up until that point. So good, not so much. That's so shitty. Well, living and learning.
So have you guys ever seen failure? Well, let me show you if you haven't. This is the uh, definition of uh, failure. Wrap failure to be exact. And no, it isn't the material. It is the installer, I got to admit. But as you can see, we have some fingering that is not leaving. The fingering is here to stay. Clearly an amateur rookie mistake. Pretty sure the recessed area screwed me over. Just because it seems like the fingering is only where the recessed area is at its deepest point. So pretty much boom all the way. So boom there. So pretty much right in this area here is where failure happened. There's a bunch of adhesive lines as well, just because, uh, noob. You know, it's not too late to rewrap. If I have extra material, I may consider. But until then, let's go ahead and finish this trunk up. Well, it's the next day and we are just checking out the trunk. Other than this little mishap down yonder, everything turned out pretty dang good. Not having the trunk elevated may have screwed me over. With the trunk being like this, you know, pretty much this closed, it didn't allow me to stretch it and really get a nice little glassing along this area. That may be a possibility as to why I have all these fingers here. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to look for excuses here why this failed and uh, I'm pretty sure that might be the reason because yes I have watched a lot of videos and all the videos all the videos have this nice cool little it's almost like a little I don't know painters pole that just kind of props the trunk up props it up perfectly and uh, yeah they have no issues with it but that's what I'm thinking happened here if somebody has knowledge on wrapping and can kind of give me a lesson or two or three or four or five, um, yes, I would be very, very thankful if you guys chimed in on the comments just to let me know like how I could prevent this or what I did wrong. Because as you know, I am learning and this is definitely something that I would like to improve on. Definitely. But other than this whole area, it's looking pretty damn good to me. As you guys saw, I did a nice post heat on all the corners, all the edges. All right, time to hit it with a little post heat now. Ripperino. Okay, world's longest clip. Post heating is coming to an end, and so is this video. Everything else is pretty much flawless, I gotta say. I gotta flex and say, Everything other than this. I really can't emphasize enough. Look at that. Boom, 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 baby. So yeah, just minus this area, as I said a million other times in this video, things are looking awesome. I think the only emblem I'm gonna be putting back is gonna be the Subaru sign, just because it has nice little holes to mount it and to get it straight and aligned perfectly again. But other than that, I need to add some WD-40 to the to the squeakiness here. So let's just, I'm just gonna close the trunk to get rid of that. Just close it and be done with it. Just like this video. Well, I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. This video could have turned out better, obviously, but I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna run with it. It's my first time wrapping anything like this and you have to expect failure. You have to expect mistakes. I just have to get that through my head that it mistakes are gonna happen. It's all part of learning. It's the big learning curve with vinyl wrapping. So with that being said, good luck. <laughs> You're all screwed. <laughs> oh God, five minute clip. I really have to end this video. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys can learn something. I hope you guys can teach me something in the comments. 
And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. I have no idea what we're wrapping next. Possibly the quarter panel, starting from all the way around here. Or maybe I'll stick with the fender. I really don't know. Maybe I'll just go the easy route and do a door. F the door handles. I heard those are just freaking pain in the ass and just a big nightmare. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. This kind of, you know, kind of made me lose a little bit of confidence. But, you know, I'm just going to brush it off and keep moving forward. <laughs> All right, guys, got to go. Take it easy. See you on the next episode.